Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome back to Repair and Replace. In this episode, I'll show you how to replace the blower motor and wheel in a gas furnace. When the burner is lit, the blower fan is delayed from running to allow the heat exchanger to warm up. This prevents the furnace from circulating cold air. The blower fan then pushes the air over the heat exchanger and circulates it around your home. If the blower motor is receiving power and still won't turn, then the motor might be seized or burnt out. Now, if the blower is noisy or grinds when it spins, then it's best to replace the blower wheel. To begin, you might need a blower motor, a blower wheel, a screwdriver or nut driver, and gloves. Be aware that there are no returns or refunds on electronic items once installed, so you may want to consult a trained professional before purchasing. When working on your furnace, always shut off the power and close the gas valve. Remove the top cover panel. Many furnaces use a push lock or twist lock, but some furnaces will require a screwdriver or a socket wrench. Now remove the blower cover panel. When accessing the blower assembly, it's best to wear cut-resistant gloves. Sheet metal can have sharp edges, so be careful. Next, unscrew the mounting screws. You might have to remove the control board if it's mounted in front of the blower. First, take a picture so you'll know how to reconnect the wires afterwards. Now disconnect the motor wires. Unscrew and set the control board off to the side. Now slide the blower assembly out. First, loosen the screw that secures the blower wheel to the motor shaft. Now flip the assembly over. Disconnect the ground wire. This wire is usually green. If your model has a capacitor, disconnect the wires and remove it. Next, use a socket wrench to remove the mounting screws holding the motor to the housing. Now, remove the motor. Now, Pull out the old blower wheel. Next, install the new blower wheel. Take note and mark the position of the motor in the mounting bracket. Unscrew the bracket screws and remove the motor. Slide the new motor into the bracket and align the position with the mark. Now tighten the bracket screws. Slide the motor shaft into the blower wheel. Now align the holes in the mounting bracket and tighten the screws. Center the blower wheel and align the flat side of the motor shaft and tighten the set screw. Now reconnect the ground wire and replace the capacitor. Align the rails and slide the blower assembly into place. Next, secure the control board and reconnect the wires. Now tighten the mounting screws. Many furnaces have a switch that cuts power to the furnace if the blower cover is open, so make sure that the panel is properly aligned and secure. Now replace the upper cover. Next. Open the gas valve. 
Now turn on the power to your furnace. The furnace should be running normally. If you're still unsure what's causing the problem in your furnace, then watch our troubleshooting guide for a step-by-step -step breakdown. And there's a link to this in the description below. If you found this video useful, then subscribe to our channel. We're constantly filming new content every week, so let us know what repairs you'd like to see next. And if you need a part for that repair, then visit our website. We stock thousands of hard-to-find parts, and we'll ship it out to you the same day. Thanks for watching.